بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته All praise is due to Allah alone We praise Him, we thank Him We seek His guidance and His forgiveness We repent to Him We seek refuge in Allah from the evil of our souls and our sinful deeds Whoever Allah guides, none can mislead And whoever Allah misleads, none can guide A bearer, a witness that there is no deity, no God worthy of worship but Allah and a bearer, a witness that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is his servant and his last messenger. May Allah's peace and blessing be upon him. The viewers, welcome to the best of knowledge. The scholars have said that the best of knowledge is a knowledge that will make you heedful of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The knowledge that will enable you to know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the most. The knowledge that will make you fearful of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by knowing his attributes. And in this series, we'll be talking about the attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, his greatness, his mightness, his mercy, his forgiveness, his sight, and his hearing, and his life, and so on and so forth. And in each episode, we'll be talking about, the, about one of Allah's exalted attributes, and we will see how we should conduct ourselves in light of this attribute. And how we, uh, or what is the impact of this attribute on our lives. And today, we will be talking insha'Allah about the wisdom of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The wisdom of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala named himself with the name of the all wise. Allah is Al-Hakim, the All-Wise. Allah Ta'ala is wise in everything that He did. And Allah Ta'ala is wise in every matter that He has done. Everything Allah Ta'ala has done, He's done, He has done it with wisdom. And the wisdom of Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Ta'ala encompasses everything. All of His creations. Allah Ta'ala Allah's wisdom is in everything, is apparent in every matter. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran said, Rabbana wabath fihim rasulam minhum. O oh Allah, send amongst them a messenger from themselves. Yatlu alayhim ayatik, reciting upon them your verses, your revelation. Wa yuzakihim, and purifying their hearts. And perfecting the manners. And then after perfecting the manners and purifying their hearts, O oh Allah, let him teach them, the people, the Quran and the Sunnah. Because once you have your, manner, your manners perfected, when you have, well, once you have your heart purified, you will be receptive to the teaching of the Quran and Sunnah. And it is out of Allah's wisdom that the messengers must or should purify our hearts and perfect our manners first before they teach us the Quran and the Sunnah. Allah Ta'ala made this task before the Quran, before learning the Quran uh, or the Sunnah. Because we need to be ready for it by perfecting our manners and by purifying our hearts and making ourselves receptive to the teaching of the Quran and the Sunnah. And then Allah Ta'ala at the end of the verse said, إِنَّكَ أَنْتَ الْعَزِيزُ الْحَكِيمُ Oh Allah, you are the all-wise. And you Allah, you are the almighty. So Allah Ta'ala is the all-wise in everything that He has done. The ulama said Allah Ta'ala is wise in everything, in every matter, in every issue. He is wise and His wisdom has encompassed everything. His wisdom is apparent in every matter, in all of his creations. His, uh, his wisdom is apparent in his creation. And it is apparent in his legislations. And his wisdom is also apparent in his decree. Allah Ta'ala is wise in everything. He is wise in his creation. Allah Ta'ala created mankind and jinkind and the jinkind for a purpose. For a wisdom or out of wisdom. وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ 
I have not created mankind or jinkind for any purpose but to worship me. It's out of wisdom and it is for a purpose. Allah Ta'ala created the, the, the heavens and the earth for a purpose and out of wisdom. وَمَا خَلَقْنَا السَّمَاءَ وَالْأَرْضَ وَمَا بَيْنَهُمَا بَاطِلًا We have not created the heavens and the earth and that which is in between of them in vain or for the sake of fun. ذَلِكَ ظَنُّ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا This is the, the opinion of the disbelievers. فَوَيْلٌ لِلَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا مِنَ النَّارِ So woe unto them from the hellfire. Everything in this universe is, is being, by Allah Ta'ala, created for a purpose and out of wisdom. Allah Ta'ala is wise in His creation. Allah Ta'ala is also, He's also wise in His legislation. Allah Ta'ala said that the concept of trade is permitted and allowed for a purpose and out of wisdom. And likewise, he said that the concept of usury is forbidden out of wisdom and out, or, 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 or for a purpose. He said that the marriage is recommended for a purpose and out of wisdom. And he also said that adultery is forbidden for a purpose. So Allah Ta'ala is wise in everything that he has done or has legislated. So all of his legislation is full of wisdom. And sometimes we might know them, and sometimes they might be hidden from us. But however, Allah Ta'ala is the all wise in his legislation. Look at his legislations, and you will see them full of wisdom. Also, Allah Ta'ala is wise in his decree. Allah Ta'ala is also wise in his decree. Allah Ta'ala decreed the easiness for a, for a purpose and out of wisdom, and he decreed the difficulties and the hardships for a purpose and out of wisdom. And you might ask yourself, why Allah Ta'ala is, Ta is testing us? Why Allah Ta'ala is putting us into, in, in a trials? Why Allah Ta'ala is uh, putting us under tribulations? And Allah Ta'ala has mentioned the purpose behind tribulations. Allah Ta'ala mentioned the wisdom behind tribulations in the Qur'an. Because many people, they ask why Allah Ta'ala is testing us. Why Allah Ta'ala is giving us hardships. Allah Ta'ala in the Qur'an made it very clear when he said that Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Ta'ala would like to separate the wicked from the good. Those who are wicked and those who are good, Allah Ta'ala would like them to be separated. To see who will be patient and who will... Uh, who will uh, reject Allah's decree. So Allah Ta'ala in the Qur'an said, مَا كَانَ اللَّهُ لِيَذَرَ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ عَلَى مَا أَنْتُمْ عَلَيْهِ It was not the purpose of Allah Ta'ala to leave you after the battle of Uhud, uh, battle of Badr, in your, in your uh, current state, until Allah Ta'ala separate between the believers and the wicked ones. And that was in the battle of Uhud. So Allah Ta'ala might place some tribulation upon us to separate between the good and the bad. To see who worships him, who is sincere towards him, and who is worshiping him in doubt. Who is worshiping him and he is on doubt. وَمِنَ النَّاسِ مَنْ يَعْبُدُ اللَّهَ عَلَىٰ حَرْفِ Some people that might worship Allah Ta'ala and they are in doubt. فَإِنْ أَصَابَهُ خَيْرٌ اِطْمَأَنَّ بِهِ If good matter happen to him, he will be happy, he will be, he will be pleased. But if bad things happen to him, in ala wajihi, he will turn away. He will turn away from Allah's way. Khasira dunya wal akhirah, and he will lose his life in the hereafter. This is the clear loss. So Allah Ta'ala would like to, to separate between the believers, the, the good and the wicked. Also, Allah Ta'ala would like to, Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, He would like, by putting us under tribulations, He would like to make us, or to raise our degree in Jannah. Because sometimes we might have a tribulation, and by those tribulations, Allah Ta'ala will 
elevate us and write in Jannah. Furthermore, Allah Ta'ala will put us under tribulations and under tests to repent to Him, to return back to Him, to be heedful of Him. Allah Ta'ala in the Quran said, وَبَلَوْنَاهُمْ بِالْحَسَنَاتِ وَالسَّيِّئَاتِ And we trial them by that which is good and that which is bad. Why? لَعَلَّهُمْ يَرْجِعُونَ So that they may return back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we might have tests in this life or the trials in this life, the purpose behind it is to repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to return back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. How to conduct ourselves in light of this attribute? First of all, we need to search for the, we need to know that Allah ta'ala is wise in everything that he has done. He is wise in his legislations and in his decree. So we have to accept his decree. And we have to as well accept his legislations. Allah Ta'ala is the best who can legislate. So we should take his legislation. And we should believe in it. And we should admit, uh, adhere towards it. Because Allah Ta'ala is the all-wise. Also. We should as well search for the wisdom that Allah Ta'ala has placed in this life. Allah Ta'ala placed the wisdom in many things. And one of them, Allah Ta'ala placed the wisdom in the Qur'an. So if you want the wisdom in the Qur'an, if you want the wisdom, so search for it in the Qur'an. Allah Ta'ala in the Qur'an said, Yaseen wal Qur'an al-Hakim. This is the Qur'an which is full of wisdom. Alif Lam Mim. Tilka ayatul kitab al-Hakim. This is the book, or this is the book which is full of wisdom. The verses of the, the book is full of wisdom. Furthermore, Allah Ta'ala in the Qur'an said, إِنَّ هَذَا الْقُرْآنَ يَهْدِي لِلَّتِي هِيَ أَقْوَمْ Whenever you are in doubt of something, whenever you are confused about something, then read the Qur'an. The Qur'an will guide you to the straightest way. Not the straight way, but the straightest way. إِنَّ هَذَا الْقُرْآنَ يَهْدِي لِلَّتِي هِيَ أَقْوَمْ Also, the wisdom of Allah Ta'ala is in the sunnah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. So adhere to the sunnah and you will find the wisdom there. Insha'Allah ta'ala. Allah ta'ala in the Quran said that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bestowed upon you the Quran and the hikmah. The hikmah as the ulama said is a sunnah of Nabiuna sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I ask Allah ta'ala to increase our iman and to increase our knowledge. And I ask Allah ta'ala to accept all of our actions and to make them sincere towards him. And ask Allah Ta'ala to meet, to meet, uh, ask Him to, that we meet Him and He's pleased about, and, he, and He's pleased and happy about our actions. Wajazakumullah khair for listening. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa sallamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.